here from San Luis Obispo, California. First home game of the year for Cal Poly. Hosting the visiting Concordia Eagles. Cal Poly wins the faceoff to himself. And, uh, puts it back to open space. Cal Poly gets the first offensive play of the, uh, of the game here. Cal Poly is currently ranked, I think, uh, fifth. And think number six. Six, and, and Concordia, I think, was uh, 19. So we should have a pretty good game here today. So on the mics today, you got Josh Moore and, and Sean O'Brien. We, uh, we both uh, previously coached uh, a number of years ago, and it's uh, great to be back out on the field after a long hiatus here at uh, Cal Poly Stadium. Cal Poly with possession, trying to test the, a pretty good shot on the run there. Great Kate save Kelly by the- takes the first shot and um, save the retained possession. Good, the uh, shot clock recessed to 80. Got a shorty. Try to get another step on that shot. Go on, go. It's gone. Concordia. Concordia gets a clear, and uh, we have the uh, Fast and Furious uh, exchange box here. Everybody's getting on the field and getting set up for offense and defense. So Cal Poly's sitting back in the. Uh, and the ride with their attack near the midline. Comes a game of finding that open, open uh, clearing defender. Okay, Aaron pass by Concordia and ball's coming back with Cal Poly to do a clear. Let's see if Cal Poly can uh, get a nice easy going clear and start controlling the game. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's the way they should do it. So Cal Poly had a pretty uh, Pretty rough weekend uh, last uh, weekend with the Cal Bears, and I think they're looking to find their um, their groove and and movement here. Ball out of bounds, uh, going Concordia. So I, I, I'm looking to see if Cal Poly can really get their uh, their flow going here. Settle the ball down and uh, ball down in the center of the field. Looks like Young's able to pick that up and clear the ball, get it to his offense. Concordia is just about to finish subbing, and they'll settle, in, settle into their offensive set. I think they, uh, the scouting report show they, they get into a 2-2, and then they just just do a dodge and then find the open guy. Great skip. And I think they just showed they can do that. Goal is by number seven, Hoffer. And they draw first blood. So on the replay, 44 just takes a dodge. Uh, Finds the open uh, skip pass across the field, and he just finds a little island and takes a nice ripper. We need to be able to. Uh, we need to be able to uh, from Cal Poly to be able to stop that and uh, get aggressive on defense. They can't let uh, Concordia get a good flow on their offense. That's not a. It makes for a long day. That was Chadwick, 44, on the assist there. Okay, Concordia picks up the face and they're gonna get back on offense. Let's see if Cal Poly can... Uh... That was Poe, 22 on that face-off pickup. And you got it to McFadden, 21, to the goal. Well, Concordia is uh, finding a, a, a quick uh, dart on their offense and he, the 22 just comes down on, um, after winning the face, nobody picks him up, he drives in, slide comes. Man, right on the crease and just simply dips and ducks and um, call it a day. Yeah, it was a little miscommunication on the midfielders there for Cal Poly on who would pick up the faceoff guy. Let's see if they can take it, make it, take it. Wins right. it to himself. Wins again and well, that was a silly shot. Okay, Cal Poly needs to get a nice, good clear going here. So with the rules now, I believe you have 20 seconds to get it out of your offensive box and 
begin the, the 80 second possession clock. So the, 80, the, the clock starts as soon as we get possession. 20 seconds we get across, but the, the 80 seconds continues, right? Exactly. Yeah. Cal Paul is getting their offense set. And uh, so there's just 48 seconds left to shoot on this possession. This is number three, Michael Juski with the ball. Okay, Cal Paul is getting some uh, touches on the ball. Got to keep it going, not get stagnant. Got the skip. Number one, Keller. Yeah, it was under pressure, not, not the best shot, but uh, we retained possession. 21 seconds of shot clock. It's Elliott uh, back at X. Uh, it was a good look. Couldn't quite make that pass to the crease. And now we got uh, long stick midi getting on for the Mustangs. Uh, the D midi getting on for the Mustangs at the box. Okay, they, they uh, broke the clear, and now they got to get back on offense. That's uh, Keller got the ball. I don't even think Concordia was uh, able to get any offensive players on the field, so I don't think they're stranding any yeah. offensive midfielders there on defense. Cal Poly did a pretty good job getting their defensive folks on the field, so that's one thing I'm going to pay attention to. The team that can really get their uh, substitutions down is um, a good mark. I think that was your, your specialty back in the day, wasn't it? Uh, I, I, I liked having guys coming on and off the field. <laughs> with ease. That's by the head. Nah, not a well advised. Okay, it was off the post, so that was a reset the clock. And that shot hit the pipe, so they reset the shot clock. If it hits the goalie or the pipe, we get a reset. Polly looking to uh, get on the board. Oh. Did that go in? It looks like it went in. How the heck did that happen? Let's see that in the instant replay because that certainly was not a barn burner of a shot. Yeah, Schweiker got a piece of that. Uh, looks like it still dribbled in. He's really going to want that one back. <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, you know, it, it, it hit the stick and bounced out and... We'll take it. So it was uh, Kramer that got that one? I didn't so, catch it. So we're all, we're all knotted up here for another face-off. Lions uh, didn't oh, Jake's another one. one. I think he's uh, got the four draws. Concordia's gotten three of them so far. Cal Poly makes a successful clear, and I think that was a... Uh, that was a tip ball. It should stay white. Whose ball? Oh, no, it got turned over to Concordia. Oh, that should have that should have been white. That was a tip ball by the Concordia D. Looks like the refs missed that one. And they make the tough pass to the clearing defender. Looks like Concordia is in their twister set. We'll see what this <laughs> what this does for him. Not sure how much the mic is picking up. Yeah, so far, Concordia really hasn't had much of a settled offense. They've just been able to, to do a quick breakdown and shoot. There's a good save. That's a good, yeah, good tip there by the number five, Baccarizzo. Tom, the senior goalie. And did he get player of the week uh, a week ago? Uh, against UCLA? against US, USC. Yeah. Think how Paula gets the ball and see if they can clear it. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Speed, that's what gets this the ball at the field. Number two, Hart. They're in the ball. Are they going to pick him up? 
Flag down. And man up for Cal Poly. A pretty good save there. Nope. In close oh. by. Oh, it's still, it's still on play. I thought it was picked up. Okay, so it's still Cal Poly still has the advantage with the ball. And with the flag down, they get a, a free opportunity to, um, to finish out the play. And what can happen here is if it's a technical foul and we score, then the flag's waved. If it's a personal foul, like a, a slash or, a, or something, then uh, it'll be time served and Cal Poly will uh, be man up. There's a shot by three, Michael Juski, and a save by number 26, Schweikert. So yeah, Coach, I don't think they're really looking for just a sweep shot right there. Um, couldn't tell by the angle and how how good of a how good of a take that was. A lot of times, teams will usually invert or something like that, get a short stick defender. Uh, so it was a uh, unnecessary roughness penalty. So he'll sit in the box for a minute, and um, Cal Poly's man up. You know, I'll take a I'll take an effort uh, penalty on a on a defender playing good D. They didn't exactly catch the the penalty. Yeah, I think that's probably one of those uh, orders of emphasis. Try to set the tone. But I agree. I'll uh, I'll take a, a penalty of aggression. Uh, this, is a, this is a win for Concordia, able to kill that well, penalty. It's, not, it's not, uh, not all the way done. Yeah, killing is winning in this situation. Yep. Well, that's a good tough clear by run number 12, Defoe. Oh, they're able to capitalize on that. So man, man down goal, that's always a, a big pump for a team, any yep. team. That'll definitely shift the momentum Concordia's way in this quarter. Well, Concordia is showing that they can certainly handle um, an unsettled situation and capitalize on it, so it's good for them. Cal Poly needs to be able to uh, retreat to the hole, pick up their men, and uh, show some strength here. So I think we're still, they're still man down because the penalty hasn't been cleared. Just because they score doesn't mean. Yeah, that's, so that's why there's no uh, there's no other midfielder on the other side of the field for Concordia because they're still down to man. Okay, illegal procedure on uh, Concordia Cal Poly ball. So now Cal Poly is still man up for I'm not sure how long. Do we have a clock on that? Oh, three seconds, two seconds. Okay. So, Penalty released. Now they're now they're all even. That was a about an 18-yard shot, and not quite advi advisable in my opinion. I think the the goalie was staring him down. There was there's just not much merit in that, unless it's a 120 mile an hour shot. Yeah, I think Coach Davi was going to want him to be a little a little more patient for their shot selection. Yeah, and get a little closer. Well, Cal Poly's having a little bit of a, of a situation with their um, substitution. That was a nifty little backhanded shot. So Concordia's in a settled offense. I think they just try to do a dodge and then uh, dish. Yeah, Concordia, they're doing a good job pulling the, the Cal Poly defense out, getting the double team, and then moving the ball to an open guy for a decent decent yeah. take. It's not super complex, so Cal Poly needs to be able to pick that up, needs to be able to, to uh, slide. Okay. So they're, they're Could, getting, couldn't they're tell if that was, uh, if that was, if that was uh, his, of his knee or the pipe. White's offsides, ball's going back to Concordia. Those are always tough to call because you could have got nudged over the line. Is that outside or? Outside. Yeah. They're not afraid to shoot. They're actually getting pretty decent shots with their with the screening effect. Yeah, with the when the net's not completely strung taut, if you if the 
ball comes just outside of the pipe, it can catch that extra net. Uh, <laughs> oh, block, blocked by the defender there. Okay, we got Keller with the ball. Let's see if Cal Poly can string together a decent little offensive run here, give their defense a break. Isolating on the short stick defender from the from the side. Nothing there. There we go. The second mid pass. midfield in. Nice hitch. Looks like save. Cal Poly gets a ground ball, keeps Pick on it up, Move it, move it, and drive again. There's a dodge, gets a double team. Ah, lost the ball. The first part was good, second part not. Okay, they're down on no. a fast break, and he's going to rip. And uh, I'm, Cal Poly is happy Cal Poly. he takes a shot like that. We'll take those all day long. Push it the other way. Yeah, saved shots can give me a good transition opportunity. Stays Cal Poly. That was good short stick defense by uh, number 38, Trupp. Not able to capitalize on that offensive possession. Spurlock passes off to uh, to Luke. Drive pass. Able to get the slide on the another pass. LSM. Okay, do do a good drive, draw a defender, and dish it to somebody. That's the uh, that's the key to a, a settled offense. Okay, stays Cal Poly ball. Cal Poly's calling out an inline play. We have uh, 22 seconds on the shot clock. Looks like we have an on ball pick. He goes underneath. Keep the ball moving. Keep the ball moving. Another shot. And a flag down. Okay, we have five <laughs> seconds on the shot clock, but is there a flag on the field? Looks like it's probably a push with possession. Yep. Eighty-eight uh, gets a push. Young. So it's thirty seconds. It's a uh, technical foul. So it's thirty seconds. Uh, Cal Poly has a man up, and see if they can capitalize here. Concordia had a pretty good um, man down defense last time, and ended up scoring a uh, man down goal. So let's see if Cal Poly can erase that. You really want to let the ball do the, the moving for you in a, in a man up. And it'll stress out their defense. Get the ball moving, get some get some offside or uh, off ball movement. Change your formations. And Kapali drops the ball again. And now push it, in push it, push it, push it. Good save. That was a really that was a damn good save. Good shot too. Yeah, from about ten or twelve yards. Uh, We got a flurry of activity in the in the transition box. Concordia oh, get checked got, by got knocked. He stepped out of bounds. Goes Cal, goes Cal Poly and it was not in time. They, the, the Concordia coach called timeout, but it, the official didn't didn't pick up on that in time. So Cal Poly gets the ball. It's a lucky call, meaning not a timeout. Cal Poly is going to get a settled offense situation here. I think we are uh, all even. Cal Poly is doing their substitution. I think Cal Poly was able to get some good uh, offensive looks when they had a midi driving from the high wing against their short stick. Like this. Here. He's got the double dishes. They just He's still got a double not on moving him. it quite ah. fast enough to the backside to capitalize. Concordia's uh, the in. Double comes. Yeah, the double came, and uh, when he turned his back, that's uh, flag down. Okay, Cal Poly's going to be a man up here again. I'm not sure what the call is going to be. Looks like a, another push with possession in the back. Oh, he's calling cross check. That's a personal foul. 
Yeah, 43. 43 gold. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Dabby would like to capitalize on one of these man up opportunities. That's a Schneider. Concordia is not making it easy on themselves. Well, they had too many men on the field. That, that's, that was not necessarily the great, greatest shot, but Bobby's calling the, uh, Coach Dabrio's calling the, the play in. That was um, sadly an unfortunate pass. So Concordia picked up the ball on an errant turnover pass. Cal Poly needs to do a good job riding here to get the ball back. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Dabrio is making a, a mental note to uh, go over the man up strategy with his uh, with his offense there. Okay, it's a shot. Concordia is still man down in there on offense, and Cal Poly should do what they're doing here and capitalize, get the ball back, be smart about the ball. And that's the period. So uh, Concordia three, Cal Poly one at the end of one period. Um, stay tuned for some highlights uh, during the period. Cal Poly with possession, trying to test the, a pretty good shot on the run there. Offensive set. Polly looking to uh, get on the board. Oh. Yep. Well, that's a good tough clear by run number 12, Defoe. Oh, Change your formations. And Cal Poly drops the ball again. And now driving push it, in push, on the it push it, push it, push it. Good yeah. save. Schweikert's been done a good job on um, you know making the saves. You know, within that one uh, tip ball that ended up going in. Um. Yeah, so Cal, Cal Poly needs to um, find a, a good way to get some shots off. No, nothing above 12, 12 yards. I think they got to get closer in and, and drive pass, pass, drive. Find a find an open guy and, and get a good shot without the goalie staring him down. Cal Poly has had a couple of good shots that are down low bouncers, and he's made some good saves. So Cal Poly was man up at the end of that quarter, but since there was no possession, there should be a man up face off. Is that, is that true? Because I think Concordia may have had the ball. I don't mm -hmm. know, we'll they find sh out. They shot it and it went out of bounds. Okay, yeah. sounds like a little mishap on their part. Like some excited Cal Poly fans driving behind us right now. <laughs> I think they're going to be excited Cal Poly fans on the hill across the field here. Oh, Rowdy, that'll be good. Cal Poly can stand to have some uh, good support on the sidelines. Well, it looks like they did a good job mowing the grass up on that hill. And then they got the, the goats out. <laughs> okay, so we are having a face-off. Um, we've got uh, Cade Poe. 22 from Concordia. And we have Guy Lyons, uh, number 98 from uh, Cal Poly. Uh, it's a play on. I think it's going Concordia ball. No, it's a, it's a loose ball push and they're going Cal Poly's way. I was, yeah, I was going to... I was going to say that it looked like it was a it was a white push. Uh, me, me too. And the Concordia's coaches made a enough of a noise about it that I think yeah. they re uh, revert, re pro the, properly reversed it. The refs got it right. Yeah. So it did it did allow two two Cal Poly players to uh, to double the the Concordia player who picked up that ball. Okay, yeah, it's a good a good um, good ride here, putting pressure coming up Cal Poly possibly. Oh nope. 
Okay, so Concordia gets the ball to start the second period. They're settled offense. The substitutions are occurring now. At this point, I don't see any advantage or disadvantage to the substitutions. I think they're both teams are equally getting their personnel on that they need. The Cal Poly did a switch. All right, picked off. Okay, uh, Cal Poly 99. Um, Griff. Poplitzel. He's, he's taking it on the way down. He's going to get it down in the box. Dump it off. Get to Keller. Keller's going to settle the ball down, let the substitutions occur. Yeah, some good off-ball defense there by, uh, by number nine. Number 99, Pablo Itzel, able to pick that ball off on the backside. That was a, a, a pretty decent shot, close in, and a good save as well. We're getting the ball down on the ground, and, uh, and he's just making some good saves. So. Yeah, it looks like it, it got caught up in the, in the goalie's uh, uniform, so that's why the, the ref called, uh, right. called him his time. We have a good ride. Cal Poly breaks the... They're clear, and we get the ball back, and now it's our turn to, to get the ball down the field and get back on offense. I think Cal Poly uh, on their shots need to do a little bit to change the plane, not, not be uh, uh, a single plane shooting where it's pretty predictable. They have to juke and dive or... or so find co a Coach, what do you mean by change the plane? Well, when they, it looks like they're simplistic shooting. They're making one one crack at their shot, you know where the ball's gonna go. They don't make a fake and go high and low with the stick or even their body movement. So when the, the goalkeeper can focus on where the ball's coming from, he knows it's going low and he can predict that. So it, it's just, it's about complex shooting. And it's early in the season, and that's something I'm sure uh, Coach Bobby will uh, be addressing with the team. In fact, I saw him uh, talking to him about that last night in practice. Thir 13 seconds in the shot clock. As you're getting low in the shot clock, two seconds left. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if Cal Poly dumps this in the corner. And, but who, and who sets gets up the in ball? Their, sets up in the red. And they do they do just that. So now everybody's uh, getting their substitution on, getting the proper personnel in Cal Poly. Historic has done a pretty good job with the hard rides um, and slowing down the clears, and let's see if we can do that here. Uh, they made him work for it. There we go. Well, Cal Poly uh, broke up a pass, picked up the ball, turnover. Now they're going to get on offense and see if they are they going to push it or settle it. Yeah, it, was, it was a good job by number 10, Galbraith, uh, running that ball up. Uh, wasn't able to retain possession, though. Okay, both Imagine. teams are still substituting, and that's that's an opportunity for Cal Poly if we can find some chaos while, while personnel is kind of not in place. But here we go. We're settled down, and we're going to get a, an offensive run here. He beat his man. Uh, who's that? Um, Keller beat his man, posted up and put a shot down, and... Went wide and now Cal Poly retains possession. Cal Poly needs to perform a little more off ball movement and, and get, some, get the defensive oh. team moving. Well, in that case, uh, we had number 23, Jack Spurlock. Uh, Drew a double team and split it and shot anyway. That was a good example of a uh, change in planes that you were just talking about. He gets, he gets, uh, he gets that bouncer uh, right up above the goalie's shoulder. It's a real tough, tough yep. shot to stop when it bounces straight up like that. Okay, so um, Concordia 3, Cal Poly 2. We're uh, early in the second period and face-offs occurring. Yeah, I was just about to say that uh, 
Concordia did a good job playing uh, you know, the six on six subtle defense right there. Um, we just got a good shot, and uh, it, there may have been a little bit of a screen on the shot as well, so the goalie didn't get a chance to lock in on it. it. Looks like it's off white. It's going to be a gold ball. Looks like Concordia has all their offensive midfielders on. And settle into their offense here. <laughs> Looking to roll back into the defender. Cal Poly's playing a good, strong defense. There we go. Uh, 99 Hoblitzel tips that ball again. He's done a good job in off ball D, which is a uh, Mikola Juski. Yep. So he's out of uh, Torrey Pines. I think he, he was the year that they uh, last year they played. They only got to play half a season. So I think they, he's a freshman listed for eligibility. I think he's going to be a good player for Cal Poly. I remember uh, talking about him uh, a couple games we broadcasted in the year 2000. Yeah, with 2020, um, and the MCLA granted another year of eligibility to all the players that year. So freshman in 2020 uh, didn't burn any over eligibility yep. then. Um, there was really no no season last year for many teams. Uh, okay, so that, that was a low to high shot. I think that is, that's the kind of shot they need. He also got a screen going there. That was um, the like 20, Alex Pavis. 20, yeah, 21. And a Redmond, Washington. This is a pretty nice shot here. He's going to dodge in, beat his man. Oh. Floats out, gets himself some space. That, that's every bit of an 18-yard shot, so that was a good ripper. Yeah, that's the kind of shot that... Uh, Every offensive player out here practices. <laughs> Drop those hands, hit that high corner. Um, but yeah, freshman in, in the in the 2020 season didn't burn the year of eligibility then or 2021. So they're you know coming in with four years left of eligibility. Okay, there we go. Cal Poly actually hard hard check uh, there. prevails in the uh, face off. Let's see if they can maintain the ball, get a, a settled offense. Yeah, that was he. That's a defenseman uh, hanging a stick for a shot and gets whacked from behind. Yeah, 26 Johnson. He, yeah, to his credit, he does practice shooting. Um, but you also got to, as, a, as another offensive player, recognize your personnel. Passing in the middle of the field to a long stick, that's going to be tough for tough for him to, to catch and finish. And a good back check there. I'm all about pushing it on the, in those situations, but... Uh, yeah, hang, hanging your stick on a long stick shot from 18 yards is a recipe for getting checked. Concordia gets in a settled offense. He's in pretty close, gets pushed out. There's a little bit of a extra contact right in front of their official, and he didn't quite feel a need to call a interference or moving pick. And Carcardia sidesteps the uh, the mid the midline there, and able to retain possession. Shot clock at 10 seconds. Cal Poly uh, gets a turnover. Let's see if Cal Poly can actually capitalize on on some of the unsettled situation. A good defense being played there. Yeah, Concordia was able to get everybody back. Okay, so now we're going to, Cal Poly has an opportunity to get a good settle offensive run. Substitutions are occurring. Shot clock is at 54. Plenty of time to get a good, good run going here. That's number three, Michael Juicy trying to 
get down the get down the lane. Uh, you see him dip his head a bit, trying to get the goalie to, to bite low and go up high. Wasn't quite able to, to bury it. It's a, it's a Coach Dabrio special there, the leaner. He was, he was in a good, uh, good spot to shoot, too. I like the shot. But it's difficult if, when the goalie's staring you down to actually get it by him even even that close. you got to drive, pass, pass, drive, right? you got to find an open guy. Draw a defender. And you've done your job. There's a double team. Pass it up. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okay, and we're back live. I believe we had a little technical difficulty. Um, the power was unplugged. Cal Poly had a pretty favorable offensive uh, set, but uh, got a shot. They got saved, and now we're clearing. The, Concordia's clearing the ball. Official. I think the game clock, uh, with the power that went out, something happened, and uh, the game clock got turned off. The official's taking his time to get things all situated. Coach is on 6.15, 15 seconds back on. Like we're resetting the game clock, 6.15. You good, uh, Luis, you good? 6.15, they say, right? Are you good with everything else you did? Yeah, but, yeah. Okay, so they'll reset the shot clock, making the game. I guess somebody tripped over a wire somewhere and everything came unplugged. So now we're. You tripped the GFCI back there, so by the. So now we're back running. He drew a double team. And that's an 18-yard shot with very little angle. If I'm a coach, I'm going to have a talk with that guy. <laughs> so it's 44 Chadwick with that lefty shot. Okay, Levin's uh, driving down the lane. Okay, that, this is not, the, not Concordia's uh, best offensive run. But Cal Poly has an opportunity to clear the ball. Concordia is uh, playing uh, a slough clear until we get it over the line. So Cal Poly has done a good job clearing the ball. I don't, I don't see any contentions with, uh, with, with substitutions. Nobody's getting an advantage with a substitution at all. Nobody's getting stuck, I don't see. I think that's pretty even. Um, even substitutions on both sides. So yeah, both teams have done a good job getting back on for their ride. One of the advantages you can gain by uh, a substitution is to trap one of their their guys down, where you get the advantage, and they're they're tired on the field. The drop there by my number eight, Elliot. He ran on the crease. What had a good scoring opportunity if he he's able to complete that. Concordia number nine is uh, Jake Clowder. He seems to be a, a good pole that can clear the ball. I'm going to go with Cloutier on the pronunciation there, Coach. <laughs> yeah, a little more French. He looks like he's from uh, Chamad Prep. Oh, and they just scored. Let's uh, see the replay here, find out how that happened. Number 11 just drives down the lane, Let's go, boys. dishes to number 21, who's open on the island and, and takes a little ripper. So, Yeah, the off-ball D on Cal Poly uh, didn't quite lock down as, as, much as, as much as you'd like to see. 
Concordia doing a good job driving, drawing that uh, adjacent sliding defender. And that check was maybe a little high. Looks like the refs are letting them play. I think uh, Concordia is getting the uh, the better of the faceoff situation. I don't have an official stat, but that was, a, in my opinion, an ill-advised shot, but to Cal Poly's advantage. Cal Poly's getting a good job with these long passes on their clears, getting down to a settled uh, offense. Yeah, I saw a little bit of frustration in that shot by number seven on Concordia offer. Cal Poly uh, with, the, with the ball. Who do we have here? Number one, um, Taylor Keller. Shot. And Michael Juicy, he had some, he had some room there uh, on a short stick. I like that drive. Um, Concordia seemingly a little hesitant to slide there. Another shot. Cal Poly ball. 30 seconds on the shot clock. I do like the um, uh, fast-paced offense, but I'd like to see a, a drive and a pass to an open guy for a shot versus a drive and shoot. You see that? That was good. Mm. He drove, found an open guy, and got a good rip. The goalie has to move his whole body and, and refocus. That's a hard thing to do. That was 18 mix with that shot. Hey, we're red here, red. Looks like we had a crease violation or a moving screen, something like that, behind the cage. Back to Concordia. And all turnover. So Concordia working there clear. Cal Poly going to do what they can to slow that down. And many so Concordia calls a timeout, I believe. And many teams on their riding and clearing games have been playing a, a slough a slough ride with the attack sitting up near the midline. And the clearing team is, essentially becomes a game of finding the, the open midfielder. Tight game here coming into halftime. Well, I, I think uh, as we're still early in the season and there's and it's been a long off season for both of these teams. It'll be, um, be good to see how they, the season progresses for both of these guys. Yeah, definitely think both these teams have a national championship, uh, tournament aspirations. Um, you know, Cal Poly go, going into the COVID shortened uh, 2020 season, you know, going out on a, on a high, beating Cal, it was 11-10. Yes, last second goal, I was, I was announcing that game and that was, it was awesome. And they ended up uh, being in the poll, uh, being ranked number one at the end of that season because of that game. And it was, it was pretty exciting, excellent lacrosse. And I think a lot of these programs uh, at this point have you know a full year off, a half year of that fi final season, a full year off now getting back in. They're, they're essentially uh, brand new teams. They have to re- um, rebuild the, the relationships and the, um, the trust and just kind of the whole flow of the offense. So uh, I think there's a lot of room to uh, appreciate the lacrosse we have today and know that uh, there's early in the season a lot of improvement to be made. Yeah, definitely happy to be back out on the field. It's been uh, 23 months or so. So we have a, had a home game. Great to... Uh, Watch them lacrosse played. Great to uh, see some action again. Here we are, February 18th, 19th. I don't know what the date is. 19th. 19th and short sleeve shirts. Beautiful sunny day. Nice green field. Life's good. The Concordia will get the ball at the top of the box. 56 seconds left on the shot clock. After the timeout. He's got 44 with a strong, strong left, able to find 
13 Buckley there in the center for the for the inside finish. Uh, the scouting report that uh, Coach Tabio uh, produced said that they're not afraid to feed the crease like that, and that's that's a that's a smart play. I think that's probably something that came out of the the timeout with knowing that they wanted to to get a little more offensive movement and, and get the ball in the middle. That's high percentage shot if you're five feet from the crease. Yeah, and with a uh, with a crease lighting defense like Cal Poly typically runs. Yeah, that crease guy, if he can find some open space, you know, especially as that crease defender is looking to slide, it's going to be a high percentage shot if you're able to complete the pass. So you really need your backside defender to slough in and take away that that pass and, and get that check down on his hands. As a uh, ref's calling him my time, figuring something out. We're just in the shot clock. I don't think it started right when the whistle blew. Little, little breeze coming through our microphones here. See if Concordia is able to put another one in before halftime. Looks like momentum had been swinging Cal Poly's way there for, for a bit in the second quarter. Concordia's uh, nipped that. Especially if they're able to go into halftime with another goal. That was a nice save. I heard the... What do we have here? Flag down. Flag down. I think I heard that hit the pipe. 4-0 cross check on, on Cal Poly. That's Max Princeton. Yeah, that's an that's an effort penalty on your on your defensive player. You know, as much as you don't want you don't want that as a coach, but you know, with a defensive player playing hard, you know, you're gonna get penalties from time to time. Yeah. That was a nice rip. That was a bar down on that shot. That was about 21. Chad McFadden. That was um that was a good 15 yard shot. That was a good uh, good velocity on that shot. And that was a, a feed and a, and a quick shot. The, the goalie has a hard time adjusting to where the ball is. When you're man down, you really need your defenders flying out to, to get to those outside shooters. I believe that was off of White. And with the uh, with Concordia scoring, that cleared the penalty, so now it, everybody's uh, all even. We have a minute and a half left in the, in the period. Let's see if uh, we can get some momentum swing for Cal Poly. And Cal Poly gets the ball, minute 18 left, fresh shot clock. And all of it, it didn't take a lot of complexity on that on that man up goal, just uh, good shooting execution. Uh, I think a little bit of uh, too much slough off on Cal Poly's defense. A okay, minute left. See if Cal Poly can uh, put one in. Cal Poly trying to set up their offense. See if they can get a. Um, the shot clock does not have any play in here. The, the game clock is less than the shot clock. Cal Poly takes a timeout with 40 seconds left. And this, uh, this is what a coach will practice their team with the, the you know, final play of a of a period. Let's see if they can come up with something that's going to be effective and um, get yeah, a as, score. As Concordia's taken back a bit of the momentum here as the second quarter's coming to a close, Cal Poly's really hoping to, to capitalize on this offensive possession. Be good to have a um, good to have a victory for Cal Poly uh, in the last 40 seconds here. It's been looking like Cal Poly's been trying to drag the short stick defenders out to the high wing, draw the slide, and move it to the backside with a couple quick passes or, or a skip. We'll see if that's what they come out with here, or you know, with the quarter coming to a close, it may be an invert. Yeah. Um, you know, take some time off the clock since they don't have to worry about the shot clock here. 
take some time off the clock, maybe draw it down to you know, maybe 20, 25 seconds, get it down to below GLE, initiate an, an invert, you know, looking for driving on a, on a short stick. If you can get that slide coming from the crease, you can find a guy, you know, cutting down toward the, toward the guy driving, rolling back, hitting a guy, um, you know, rolling around to the other side of the cage, feeding again. Lots of opportunities there. Um, or even finding a guy in the crease uh, open. That's the that's the easy one. If you can yep. get it, find it. <laughs> well, Cal Poly is going to show us what they got. Keller starts with the ball. Get it up to the short stick. Brings him up to the high wing. Drive down the alley. And they're not able to complete the pass. Well, that's a, that is what Cal Poly drew up, I don't think. Well, that's what they drew up. <laughs> they just want some better execution there. Uh, let's see if uh, Cal Poly can uh, ride effectively here. and oh, Good pass. And the bad part about that possession, it gives Concordia enough time. Ooh, there's enough time uh, to get an, uh, to get a scoring opportunity. No, there, there's right, this, the clock says 10 seconds here. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Oh, uh, we must the, the clock. Oh, the, the the clock that we that we see on the screen here is unofficial. So. Ah, okay. Oh, it's best effort clock. <laughs> okay, so it was um, the shot was uh, got off after the the horn blew, so wouldn't have counted. So at halftime, uh, Concordia is winning uh, six. Uh, goals and Cal Poly has three and we'll see um, whether uh, Coach Dabio can make some adjustments, get the team motivated and uh, come on out and, and find the uh, the formula to put a few more goals in than Concordia does in the second half. I think Cal Poly's offense they're really just a couple passes away, um, executing a little better on a few passes here and there from you know a couple more scoring opportunities on those on those drives where they're coming down the alley, the defender is falling them out, the slide's coming to them, and they're pulling out and like slipping it um, across their body. You know, some of those have, have been a little short, hitting yeah. the ground. If they can get that a little more zip on it, the guy they're throwing it to catches it and able to feed it to the backside. You know, there's a lot more more, more scoring is going to open up. But when you when you don't get a lot on that pass, you know, the def defense is able to recover and. Uh, it, 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 the crispness is, I think, it, another way of boiling it, it doesn't feel very crisp what I'm seeing out there, that Cal Poly doesn't have a the, the, the flow with all six guys on offense to find out who's going to be where. I don't, I don't see enough off-ball movement. There's, there's some, but not enough yet, but here we are early in the season. Yeah, and Concordia is you know, showing some uh, good individual skill on their, on their shooters, uh, connecting yep. from, from outside. So... A lot of uh, uh, Concordia's goals came in unsettled situations. Um, that's the thing that uh, if you can capitalize on that, that's that's a whole other game. The, the settled offense is not easy to score in um, until you get them the defense moving and get a slide happening, and then then capitalize on that. So. We'll uh, we'll. Cal Poly coming in ranked number six. Oregon coming in ranked number 20 in the preseason poll. Uh, we got myself, Chris Nespor, on the call, partnered here by John Corbellati, both Cal Poly alums. Ready to get this game going. Cal Poly struggled face-offs last game. And when you struggle with face-offs, you gotta make some things happen. Clarity finds Joe Johnson for the goal. Umbrella. Coming behind as well. That's, that's Matty Toivola with the ball. Owen Keller drags, finds Toivola on the crease, and he finishes. 
Holly coming around in a 3-3, a little different of a man upset. And right away, we get a shot. That's number 28, Jack Kramer. Out there. With the shot clock in place now, it's got to be nice having a face-off guy who can stay play offense. So one last night to, to sub off. Nick Wojcicki with the big shot. That's how Paul is getting. They seem to be playing higher on the crease, which is giving them more room. Elliot dunks. Spurlock taking the dodge. I've seen a lot of alley dodges. Tries to come in, draws the push. Now Falls Spurl on the ground, and we're getting physical. That's Mikul Ajeski. Possesses the ball. They like his right-handed dodge. Very quick player. Down the alley. Slings one. over. Uh-oh, seven. With time. Got the one more pass to X there. Another one more. That's beautiful. As, uh, as Hawkins kind of popped into space. It was wide open. Benny Huff on the faceoff. Morgan's boxing out. And we have to find Spurlock. Seemed to be a little out of sorts in this possession. Spurlock. Bouncer. Top shelf goes with the alley dodge. And an aggressive slide behind the cage. Delgado comes around and buries one. Good roll, a lot of Finds trouble Finds his teammate there. Flaherty. Let's see if we can settle it down a little. Oh, nope. There's oh, Tragaser awesome on the crease. Lefty finish. Be there. Mm -hmm. They look to do the same thing here. Finds the guy backside. Tight pass. Nice save from Bacarizo. Not looking to push it quickly. We've got Flaherty in transition. He's got one more up to Johnson. He's going to catch it. We have a four on three. Johnson, open net, takes the goal and scores! Great vision there by Miko Jeski. Nice left to left. He's shown the right to right, and there's the left to left to feed. Elliot dodges behind. Tragaser dunks one. Give and go. Mm, deflected pass. Almost goes. Now he was able to secure. And that's a hit on the goal. He's going to be a flag every time. Clearly knows how to play this, as their offense does it every day. The rotation around. Ball swings through X and Delgado's gonna take it himself. Strong's gonna pass it right back. So we got oh we got a change of call. Oregon ball. Uh Capali's set up in their clear and Oregon offense is out. We got a, a large Oregon consistency here. Fans coming out in force. A game coming from behind there. It is six on five now, but on that six on four, moving quickly, occupying space and Tony wants some. He's going to call out another guy. That's five Berg again with his alley dodge. And now they get it cleanly to X. Let's see what they do. Look to feed Crease, and he was there. Delgado was also there. Delgado. Two guys going to ball there. Here's Flaherty on ball. Big move. Mikulajewski, very quick player. Winds up, puts one five hole. What a goal. We've got a true face-off scrum, and that's a pole who released. Don't believe there was a release call, but we're playing. And there's that physicality we talked about. Quick lines at the top of the box. Excuse me, that was Kennedy over there. Yeah, left the attackman. Exactly. Oh, and a pick. Occupying the slides. They seem to beat a man clean, and they don't know you where that next pass is. got one more behind is. you, right there. Boom. And as I say it, to the dodge behind Delgado. He's going to want this right now. Time for Delgado to take over. Draws the slide. Kennedy. Back up. Nice save for Bacarizo. When when the you know, panel over the sideline is yelling all even. Are very dangerous for a defense. Oh, off of the 51 for Oregon. That's Evans. Daryl Evans. It's a really nice job staying with, with Mikul Jeski for Cal Poly. See them playing it slow there, and for the Ducks picks it up, and we've got a nice cutter. That's a heady off-ball play, and a great save from Mikul, uh, not Mikul Juski, from Bacarizo, and the ball's popping around. It's gonna go deep to Rado. Rado retains. Oh, oh, and a save off his face. Bacarizo floating to spot, get his shot off. We're still low time here, 22 for Another Oregon. Save. Lewis and Delgado on third time the charm. Very hard fought West Coach matchup. Yeah, that's a good win by Cal Poly to salvage their road trip. And you got to go hats off to Oregon. That was an ugly first half. They battled back, they made it a game. And uh, 
if you're Oregon, you're saying, hey, if we didn't have all those turnovers, could have been a different story. And you're going, hey, Cal Poly, if we could capitalize on man up and not turn the ball over again, clears were not perfect. You want to be around 90%. So these are early games. Early we're playing February lacrosse, 100%. Cal Poly, though, good job coming out of that one, grinding it out a little bit there, fending off the Oregon Ducks. And they're going to come out with a two-goal lead here. Headed back down to slow. Got to be happy with the win after their performance yesterday. Yeah, that was a tough one against Berkeley. But it will be WCL playoffs. Plenty of other games to be had. We are early in the season, and both these teams have uh, MCLA tournament hopes. There's much, much more to go. And I look to see both teams improve from this. If you could see what happened on the field, you can see where you're weak. You can improve on that. You can see where you're strong. You can do that more. Uh, both these teams, good futures ahead of them. And that is going to be the end of our broadcast. Thank you for tuning in. Both these teams are going to break up their huddle here and shake hands for a well-fought battle. Cal Poly comes out 12 to 10. Catch you next time. Third period, Cal Poly wins a faceoff. I think they had a, a good talking to by Coach Dabrio during halftime. Uh, I spoke with uh, Coach. He said that uh, they're definitely going to be looking for feeding the crease a bit more. So we'll see how that works. I think that's uh, a much higher percentage shot if you get the ball in there and somebody can handle it. So. Yeah, they're missing. Uh, Number 11, Dom Tregazer. You know, he's a good off-ball finisher from the attack spot. He's out this week with a concussion. Cal Paul is uh, keeping a wide set here. Cal Poly uh, stepped over the line. Uh, those unforced turnovers are, yeah. are killer. Well, that was a good shot. He stepped in and took a shot, just missed. As a coach, I'll take that any day. Um, that was McFadden. He had that uh, lefty finish earlier on man up. It's always a good luxury to have a, a good lefty shooter on that wing. It makes things makes things a lot easier on the on the offense. I think he, I think he forced that pass. If it, if it if it landed, it would have been great. But I think he forced it. Cal Poly comes up with the ball on a on a turnover. Cal Poly is looking to, to get the ball cleared pretty easily. Getting it down to attack. So let's see if Cal Poly can get a good solid offensive run and end in a goal. Anybody listening on Concordia will wish for the different, different outcome. Oh, not quite the kind of pass we wanted, but hey, the Cal Poly controls. Uh, keep it in bounds. And Cal Poly's been doing a good job at drawing that first slide. It's, it's the execution on that on that pass to the next to the next player. That yeah, we've seen some some miscues on. Yeah.
That was a shot, uh, not the best angle, but bounced off the goalie stick. They get the ball. Now they're looking to clear. Cal Poly is retreating with their with their clear. So now it wasn't a bad take. Uh, skip pass up top, drives on a shorty. You, know, you get the goalie moving in the cage. True. It's not able to finish. Cordy is hoping to get there. Good settled offense happening. Getting personnel on the field. Express, express. Oh, good time, good time, good time. So there was an advantage on a, uh, on a substitution that they got an extra guy free of a defenseman. He took a shot at about 12 yards and the goalie was staring him down and, and, and saved it, but uh, which allowed Cal Poly to do a quick clear. Cal Poly came down. And took a shot in an unsettled situation, then they got the ball back. Yeah, it's number number four, Flaherty, uh, defensive midfielder, um, and you, you you get those opportunities rarely as a as a D midi, able to run run straight down the center, the defense locking out all the attackmen, not able not able to finish that shot. He's going to be seeing that one in his, <laughs> a few times in a few times in the future, wishing that went a little differently. No, but Cal Poly retained possession. Uh, and officials had a. Time out there for a second. Now they're back into play. Okay, that's got to be a penalty there. Oh, come on. There was a. Uh, uh, the officials. Looks like, looks like the refs uh, didn't call any roughness there, uh, roughness call there because. The Cal Poly player was moving on the screen. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> I'd have thrown a flag. Side of the goal. Some good short stick defense there. My number 88, Young. So Corey looking to clear the ball. Pretty easy with their long poles getting up the field. Controlling the, the clear and looking to do their substitutions and get their personnel on field. Accordia back has a ball back X. Moving around, Cal Poly's uh, playing a soft defense. So we see Concordia doing a good job off ball, floating into space. So that drive down the down the right alley here. Had the players on the backside kind of floating away from their defenders, getting getting into space so they're able to receive that pass and either drive, shoot. And be available for an uncontested catch. So 44 Chadwick showing some he had shown some strong left tendencies. That right-handed shot didn't didn't quite didn't quite land the way he wanted. I'm not sure how to call that a shot either. Apparently, they want to run the red play. Is that Concordia able to able to find that cutter down the right-hand alley? We're seven and X dodging around. It's like that was a, a behind the back feed and across the crease to so. the cutter. Uh, hashtag Sports Center top ten. <laughs> so Concordia happy with themselves now. Contested uh, faceoff. Cal Poly comes up. Bring in a little fast break situation. Oh, just can't handle it. Unfortunate. That was a good situation to, to try to capitalize on. Kim comes up Cal Poly. Yeah, that was a pretty good, started out as a pretty good fast break. Just not yeah. able to, you know, again, not, not completing that next pass. You know, 26 Johnson, the LSM brings it down, feeds the, the point man, and that pass down. Now you even had the the lower right attackman coming up like you want him, like you practice that. It was textbook. And not able to complete the pass. 
I think that should be a point of uh, good. emphasis on practice. Looks like there was a, a push on push on gold, picking up the flag. But he thought it was a loose ball, so it just stays stays white. Some good off ball defense there in the in the center by Concordia, able to, to check down on that offensive uh, on the Cal Poly player in the center. I think that was number one, Keller. And you're gonna feel that after the game, those uh those checks <laughs> down by those close defense. You know, the calls of uh, move it from the Cal Poly bench, well, encouraging their offense to spin it faster as we're another unforced turnover. Yeah, Con uh, Concordia is playing a pretty good aggressive defense and, and not allowing Cal Poly to really get their flow. And, and, and that I don't see good confident foot movement on Cal Poly's offense. They just don't seem comfortable. Yeah, as an offensive player, you know, you, you, you love it when the when the defense isn't playing out and pressuring and you're able to just kind of spin the rock as they say. Once you get once you get that a few checks in your hands and you have to actually move your feet to, to pass it, it can uh, get in your head a bit. That's just a, se a seasoned offense would find their flow, find find the way to move. And right, right as I say that, some some good checks by Hoblitzel on the on the Concordia attackman and he tosses it out of bounds. That goes both ways. Goes both ways. Okay, so Cal Poly, it's, uh, there's some good juju out there. They get in a good offensive set, find their footing, and get their confidence back. Waiting for personnel to get on the field. Alex Plavis passes on. We'll see if Cal Poly can get into their base offense. Taylor okay, Keller's um, bringing the dishes it to the crease, which is what uh, Coach Dabrio was hoping for. Was yeah, a little finish. Looks like it. They uh, it it ended up running how they draw it up, where the short the offensive player who has a short stick defender brings him up to that high wing, drives. Gets the slide, finds the open man, finds the next open man. Yep. You know, where where he took that shot from on the field, and you know, you really don't want to, as a righty, drop your hands there. You're really taking away all your angle. If you're going to shoot right-handed there, let's go straight overhand. You yep. can get as much angle as possible. He's in a good spot to shoot. Good save, good save. Oh, wait, what are the... There was a flag down. A flag down, okay. Looks Off, like... Uh, offside is uh, on white, so Concordia retains possession. And 30 seconds. 30 second man up for Concordia. And that must have been when the when they were riding. Um, you know, if it, as an attackman, if you're riding hard, you know, sometimes you step over in that midline. You know, again, it... If that was a hustle play and not a not a mental mistake on a on a, on the clearing and riding game, if it's a hustle play, you know you're going to get you know penalties from time to time. They're 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 forgivable for sure. So Cal Poly needs to have a good man down situation here, keep them from scoring, and then they need to start mounting an offense. So Concordia comes out and uh, looks like a two three one. They're shifting into. Uh, it's like a 3-3. Three, three. Nice save. That was a good shot. That shot was probably a good 10-yard uh, shot. And uh, That was 21 again, McFadden. The, the lefty on the wing. That's going to leave a mark. And shoots right into 26, Johnson. You know, he'll take that. And we're all even. Well, they killed the penalty in time to be all even, and number seven decides to throw a rocket. That's uh, Troy Hoffer. He's out of uh, Tustin, California, Foothill High School. Yeah, it's actually a good time to attack as as the as the sixth defender comes in. 
defense can sometimes let up a little bit, and it looks like they, you know, it was just an on-ball pick. He's able to get his hands free. Yeah, also going from a, a the man down zone into a man to man, if that's what they were doing, that you can get him. Yeah, you really got to communicate that. So you're going, yeah, as you're you're needing to pick up your men. Concordia comes up with the ball. Jake Couture, as we're calling him today, comes up with the ball. Oh, they find the they find the skip. Not there able to finish, in, lands in the crease. In the crease. Well, oh, that was a, volleyball. He actually did a, a good change of plane and a shot, which uh, good effort. Yeah, that's one thing about leaving your feet like that is you're, you're committing to needing to, to score. Otherwise, it's a it's a turnover. Yeah. It can, it can, it's a high risk, high high reward play. If he makes that shot, then maybe he is on Sports Center. But if he doesn't, <laughs> it's a turnover and Cal Poly advantage here. The Cowboy looking to invert a bit. Alex Plavis is driving. Good side defense by Concordia defending the invert. Well, there's got to be a flag on that. That was a smack on the back. Not sure no fla no flag called. Good, hard one-on-one -on -one defense by, by Concordia there. Able to strip the ball and clear it, but not able to complete the clear. Capo's grit took it back. Plenty of time in the game for Cal Poly to uh, to show what they're made of and get back into this game. That's good. He drew a double. Nice. Does he get it? He got it. Nice. So you know what? That was a great, great play on uh, Cal Poly's part. They drew, they drew a, a double, they passed the ball quickly, two passes, and then he found uh, the open man on GLE, and he made a good move at the crease. Pass, so we had another, another pass at GLE, and boom, jams it in there. Sacrificing the body for the greater good. So we'll see if Cal Poly can capitalize a, a little bit of this uh, momentum shift, but uh, to get it, get a score for the first time uh, it's about midway through the second quarter gonna come up white these faceoffs have been have been largely ground ball 50 50 with no neither faceoff man able to win it cleanly to themselves in a bit those are hard those pushes are hard to call but Cal Poly got a, got a bit of one there. So Cal Poly's clearing the ball up there. Okay, it's an unsettled situation. Cal Poly can capitalize. Oh, and it yeah. absolutely stones him on the doorstep. I'll, I'll take that. I mean, he, he did a good job. He got in front of the, the net and just didn't deke him enough, but that was a good save on that goalie's part. Yeah. But that, that certainly would have ignited the field here if Cal Poly had uh, succeeded. Plenty of time still. Coming back, Cal Poly. Cal Poly's had a couple good scoring opportunities here early, or uh, in, the, in the third quarter. They just keep the foot on the gas. Uh, these will start popping in, and we'll have a good. Uh, Good finish for sure. Yeah, the doorstep save really uh, nipped any sort of momentum shift in the. I guess and ball at the side of the side of the cage. Those, those early score when you hit the back of the cage. The side of the cage. Yeah, 
Concordia just about to succeed on their clear. Yard sale. Okay, Cal Poly did a great job with the breaking up that clear. The clear did not succeed. And yet we can't clear the ball ourselves. And well, the Concordia threw it Concordia away. Concordia fills the clear. Slo sloppy transition game here. Well, as long as Cal Poly can settle it down and um, put one in the net, I think it'll all be behind us. Probably again, driving on the high wing, not, not able to finish that shot. Number 20, Knowlton. They've had some, they've had some good, uh, some good looks out of this, out of the set. Um, you know, pulling that that short stick defender up to that high wing. Um, you know, with that angle of where the where the slide comes from, really opens up some skip lanes to get it to the to the far side of the field. advise he he drew into a double team and shot from 20 and the goalie was staring at him so strike one strike yeah two, most, strike most goalies at this level are going to be able to make that save yeah. I really want to get him moving a little bit before you take a shot like that but once you drew the double your, your job's done and move the ball So Concordia is going back to their twister set. Haven't quite figured out what that is, but it's twister. They like it. Cal Poly picked off the pass going through uh, the crease and mm. another feet feet to the backside. Not able to, to connect. You know, Cal Poly is lock it, locking down a little bit more on that um, on those passes to the to the crease and to the backside. Well, Concordia is doing a pretty doggone good job right now on this this ride to contest it which put us under pressure. Okay, and that's the end of the uh, third period. And the clock is unofficial. On the, on the screen, yeah. All right, well, Concordia was able to ex extend their lead in that third third quarter, 6-3 um, as the halftime score. Well, Cal Poly's got to find something inside to figure out how they're going to control the rest of the game, the offensive end, and uh, putting the ball in the net. It's a four goal deficit, it's not easy uh, given the, the pace of the game so far. It's not gonna be easy to overcome, but if they can get, uh, get a little bit of momentum, it won't be too, it's not insurmountable, but it won't be easy. Yeah, Concordia again with their with their shooting. You know, number seven had that had that uh, high to high, near near high corner, um, you know, showing their, their shooting prowess um, on on offense. Yeah, a team can do a lot of things on the field, but if they can't shoot, they ain't gonna score. So I think uh, the, the advantage to the what I'm seeing on the field here is Concordia's got a little sharper edge on their shooting. And what Cal Poly's been demonstrating.
we're back here at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Cal Poly's really going to need to execute on on offense. Tie, you know, tie up the crispness of the uh, crispness, as uh, Coach O'Brien put it, on their on their passes on offense. Coupled with winning some some faceoffs is uh, all going to be necessary. You really got to put it put together the uh, the best glimpses that we've seen through through the game to uh, close this four goal gap. We'll see if Concordia tries to you know, milk, milk a little clock in these in these possessions with a four goal lead here in the fourth quarter. A little bit of an un unforced turnover there. I think they're not, uh, yeah, that wasn't what they wanted to do. So Cal Poly should find a sense of urgency here to get in the game. And that's not the best way to do that. Some good hustle there by, by Mix to try to. They're giving Cal Poly. So Cal Poly got him. That was a good hustle by, by number 18 Mix to, to save that um, errant pass. You know, 20 seconds is a, is a real long time to make it across that, that midline. You want to see if you can make as easy a pass as possible. And smart. I think it's something that's a, a high percentage. Wasn't wasn't a need to rush it, but Cal Poly maintained the ball, which is fine. Oh, not a terrible shot, but uh, saved by the Concordia. Yeah, coming straight down the alley there, going straight overhand. He's you know increasing his his angle as much as possible, trying to go that that near uh, offside low, which is going to be a tough save for the for the goalie. But you know, Schweikert ended up ended up. Uh, Stopping that one. And he's had a pretty solid day today. You know, keeping giving this Cal Poly team to, to four goals through through three. Oh okay, yeah, Cal Poly um, picks up a ground ball. Let's see if we can get a good clear pass. A short stick uh, pick up the ball and he's easily clearing the down to their offensive end. That was 99 Hoblitzel with a and pass off his back foot, finding the 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 midfielder there in the center of the field. Cal Poly getting their personnel on the field. Let's see if we can uh, find some production. Kolejewski uh, being harassed by Concordia's midfielder. Pulling it out here for a re-dodge. You know, in that, in that first dodge, you know, he really was able to you know, kind of draw the attention, uh, but wasn't able to, to move it. So we got Andy Priest, what do we call it? A flag down. So we have interf Inter interference on 88, so it's a 30 second penalty. I think he, he, he kind of essentially jammed him in the crease. Got it. Let's see if Cal Poly can capitalize on. There it is. So that was that looked like a pretty well designed play. Well, uh, maybe yeah, not. I, I, I'm not entirely sure that's what uh, what was drawn up there. Uh, you yeah, had number eight, Elliot, just kind of sneaking yeah. it, sneaking in on the back pipe. Yeah, uh, same here. You know, Concordia slips a little bit too much toward the center. Uh, you know, that's that's how you coach man up. Uh, you know, that guy in the on the on the far side pipe just kind of pinch in. Um, you know, it really forces the the defense to have to you know account for an offensive player being that close to the goal. And if you can find them open through that skip pass, you know, makes man up real easy. Well, so Cal Poly, if they, if they can let that ignite a fire, then they'll have plenty of time to get a good game out of this. That was a good face off by uh, number 22. I was able to win it to himself. Oh, 
able to able to find his attackman, not uh, McFadden. They're not able to finish. Looks like uh, Bacarizo was able to get a get a piece of that. So an early man up goal Ch chips away at that lead a bit. Let's just see if Cal Poly's defense can hold here. I think the answer is no on that one. That was 16 Mung, Mung guy able to uh, collect that skip pass and, and rip it high so to high. He, he caught and shot. That's exactly what he needed to do. Number you know, seven. And as a goalie, having to move all the way across the, the cage, find your place. And make that save. That's a that's a that's a tough that's a tough ask. Yeah. Well, that's what I think. In my opinion, Cal Poly should be doing a little more of that, getting the ball to the um, the open guy. Draw draw the double, find the guy, and let him shoot. Not staring the goalie down. Concordia is, uh, I think, managing to win the majority of the faceoffs, which is bodes well for them. So with the with the, uh, the the rule changes with the faceoffs, you're no longer able to put a knee on the ground and no no longer able to use what they call moto grip. As uh, we get a we get a ground ball here on on Concordia's clear, Cal Poly able to pick it back up. Well, Cal Poly's a pretty scrappy team, always has been. So when it comes to uh, riding hard and contesting the clears, that's exactly what they they do well at. Yeah, with these face-off changes, um, you, know, you you always wanted your face-off guy to have really you know quick hands, but without able to do the you know the moto grip, hard clamp, um, you know it's really even more emphasized. Um, you know, guys with with quick hands able to you know pop that ball out you know real quick there, just like uh, you know Lions was able to do on that face-off for Cal Poly. But I think they wanted to make sure that there, there's no longer a long clamps on the ground. They want to get the ball out in play, so. Cal Poly player down, is that? Um, Number three, Michael Juski. It's like we had a loose ball interference call on Concordia, so they're gonna reset the shot clock. And play resumes. Luke, Luke's a pretty uh, important player for this team, you know. Hope this isn't anything too too serious. Looks like we got the trainers out there. So is that a, a loose ball interference? So coming up Cal Poly? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, it's good that um, Luke's able to come off on his own power. Looks like he's he's not limping or anything. Maybe he just got the wind knocked out of him or something like that. He'll we'll have to come off and he can be substituted back in. He's got a smile on his face. Life's good. Cal Poly um, gets a fresh shot clock. Oh, yeah. oh good, as Cal Poly is able to erase their own error. That's good defense there. He has a loose ball, has a loose ball penalty. Illegal procedure on against White. Going yellow, probably because he's playing without a stick. Yeah, he got the stick knocked out of his hands, and in the process of trying to get it back, he impeded the path of the Concordia player. I think that's what the call is going to be. Just mid, good open field on the ball, going Cal. I mean, defense uh, there by Tanner Collins, able to, to dislodge the ball from the Concordia player, went out of bounds, going Cal Poly. 
the floor. Cal Poly successfully cleared the ball. It's going to wait for personnel to get in position. Yeah, Schwager's been pretty solid uh, down low today. I've seen him made a number of saves at his feet. The Concordia made a quick clear on their side. Working on getting personnel on the field. You know, the Cal Poly taking that. You know, that was a, I gotta say, that was a nice little pass right there. You know, it was Cal Poly getting that early goal in the fourth quarter, um, you know, trying to see if they can chip away at that four goal lead heading into the fourth, uh, but with Concordia scoring two more quickly here. The 44 comes down the field, he just finds a guy in the back post. Nice pass and a little dip in. That would be the uh, the second slide needing to uh, to cover that guy. The Concordia is ruling the faceoff world today. The Concordia yeah. feeling pretty good about themselves at this point, winning ten to five. Still plenty of time in the, in the game to, for yeah. Cal Poly to, to mount a. Especially with Concordia taking these last few face-offs, it's hard to, you know, even if you do you know, get a goal if you're Cal Poly, with uh, you know, the fa face-off advantage sliding back to, to Concordia. You know, it's hard to build any momentum when... When you're not winning face-offs. When yeah. you're not winning face-offs, and to get the ball back, you have to have a, a defensive stop. Another shot to the outside of the goal. Cal Poly needs to have a good, uh, a good clear here. Yeah, if you can get it to your, to your midfielders as you clear it and run it up the far side, then that's the easiest way to go. Take that if you can get it. No, find the pole, Tanner. So I think um, Concordia has one of their offensive middies stuck on defense. One of the coaches wasn't too happy about that. Let's see if Cal Poly can draw the slide. Looks like they do, not able to complete the pass. Concordia able to move it to the, to the far side and Looks like they're going to make this clear. Concordia is allowing their personnel to get on the field, get in a settled situation, and execute their offense. Cal Poly needs to mount a good, strong, and swift defense and get the ball back. Concordia's moving the ball pretty well. They seem to have their flow going. They, they're pretty happy with the way the game's going to this point. I think number seven likes that uh, behind the back kind of pass. Yeah, some good on-ball defense there by 99. Hoblitz on, on seven, Hoffer. That was a good position save by, by number five, Backer. He's able to get big in the goal, take up a lot of room, and the ball just hit him right in the chest. As Concordia re retains possession, the, the seconds continue to tick off the clock. And they got a reset because the ball hit the goalie. And the resets on the offensive end just go to 60 seconds, not 80. 
that's a new rule this year. I think they threw the ball away, and Cal Poly has an opportunity to, to come on down to their offensive end of the field. And so with with close to five minutes left, you know you really have the sense of urgency. Down down five, yeah. you know, a goal a minute at, at this pace, especially with uh, the face off, the face off advantage Deficit. going to Concordia. So there does need to be a sense of urgency here on Cal Poly. Number two, Hart with the ball. You know, I was a, a part-time assistant coach in the 2020 season. Um, there he had, uh, I think he broke his Backside! collarbone or, or it was something like that. And, oh, There it is. Good, okay, shot, to the, good shot to the, to the far pipe. Who picked that one up? The Mick, Mick Lajewski. I think it was. Or maybe it was number eight. I think it was number eight, Elliot, with the, with the yeah. goal, cutting through the center. I think that was from number 18, Mix. Okay, so Cal Poly needs to, to find that uh, find that spark here. All right, so first, go. first win, task, win, face -off. win this face-off. So that was a good play by Lyons there. As he as he senses that pressure from two people, that means that one guy's going to be open, and Schweiker makes another save down low. You know. He's he's seeing him well from, from outside to, to, to down low. Um, Capali's doing a hard ride here. A little Gilman clear. Okay, Cal Poly uh, breaks up their, their clear, and now Cal Poly has an opportunity to come down and either push it here in an unsettled situation, which is I'm in favor of, or settle it up, one or the other. That was Elliott cutting toward the center again, uh, but not able to, to catch that. Pass to the crease. Good off-ball D by Concordia there. Well, Cal Poly was looking to press it, which was, which I think was fine. But I think now they're in settled offense. Well, again, although they gave, they gave it to Concordia, that was uh, that was a tough call. That was a good heads-up play by, by Concordia there to, to chase that as it was going out of bounds. That's uh, some good ride defense there. Just didn't succeed. What are they calling? And we got a timeout by Concordia. Okay. Now oh, with the four goalie with with three minutes. This yeah. is looking looking tough for Cal Poly to, to in, pull this out. In an 80 second shot clock. I mean, I think that's. Uh, with 57 seconds left on this shot clock, but doesn't take many possessions to just bleed that time down. Especially if uh, on any goal there, if Concordia is winning the majority of the faceoffs, it'll be hard to stop them from bleeding the time. Yeah, it's at this point in the game where you know, are we going to come out with uh, you know, some some pressure defenses? You know, it's a uh, it's a fun thing to practice. You know, with start out with you know two poles on the ball here. Um, yep. you know, with four, four goal deficit. Uh, three minutes left in the fourth. You, you pretty much got to start taking taking those big risks and seeing if you can if you can get that ball back. So you know, we'll see what what Cal Poly comes out with here. If we have a uh, you start when the ball goes behind behind the cage. You start pulling the goalie out to cover the guy closest to the cage, so you can double double the ball. We'll, we'll see what Cal Poly comes out with here. If they start start taking those those risks, I think it's required. Looks like number number seven Hoffer is going to start with the ball here on the right wing. Cal Poly starts with two two pulls on the ball. 
pulling the goalie. So he has a pretty has a pretty secure stick, so we'll see if Calpoli is able to dislodge it here. And they're able to. Calpoli comes up like with that, the ball. Looks like that that risk has worked so far. If we can successfully clear it, so that was a good job to the Mustang defense able to to execute well, we got, that. We have some uh, unsettled situation here. Okay, they settle it up. That's good. Get your personnel on the field. Stays Cal Poly. I couldn't, couldn't tell if that was uh, off the pipe or if the, if the goalie got a piece of that. That's a tough placement for, for a goalie to stop with a righty coming down the wing. So we got an invert here. We have a short stick on on an attackman, and they quick, and quickly got a, it away. quickly send the slide, forces the uh, Cal Poly attackman to throw it out of bounds. Unfortunate for Cal Poly, toss that one away. Like, like Cal Poly un unable to to intercept that pass, but Concordia was so coming back Cal Poly. Try, tries to, to get into the goal as as uh, looks like Cal Poly had pulled their goalie for the 10 man ride. Okay, so Cal Poly, we got under two minutes here, um, provided the clock is synced with game time. We have a timeout, Cal Poly. Let's, um, can we check the time on the clock? 151 on the clock, so we're gonna adjust the display time here so there's um it's gonna be an uphill battle but it's not undoable and we'll see what coach Davio draws up here Pretty much need to go right away, right after the whistle. Um, looking for some off-ball, off-ball movement. Maybe some off-ball picks, getting the guy open in the high crease area. It's it's real difficult to um, to score on a settled six-on-six. Six. So if you're just going to take the ball and shoot it, one, one guy make one dodge and shoot. So they really do need to get uh, something, some the defense moving, get some action and find an open man. So I'd imagine Concordia is probably going to start with a pull on the ball. Cal Poly is going to try to get it to the offensive player with the, sh with the short stick so they can initiate. Where's the oh, ball starting at the um, upper corner of the, the restraining box? Okay, so st he's starting with a shorty. So good, they can initiate. So Concordia's putting a, sh a short stick on the on the ball. So this is eleven call-ins for Concordia. It listed at six four two twenty. So pretty pretty big midi. We'll see what. Uh, They're letting the shot clock bleed down to sixty four seconds, and they'll start. We'll see if Kramer's able to draw the slide. Yeah, Schreiker makes another rebound. makes another save down low. Ball on the ground still, unsettled. And we got a scrap for the ball. Out of, out of bounds, and he gives it to uh, gives it to Concordia. Oh, oh, oh the, the, the ref saying it is timeout. He's giving it Cal Poly. He's giving the ball to Cal Poly. Yeah, it looks like it was off Concordia going going Cal Poly. Bit bit of confusion there by the refs. Looks like they're. I think a couple of Cal Poly coaches just about had a heart attack. <laughs> Concordia's goalie has been uh, pretty good today. Pretty good. Yeah, that inside roll with the uh, with the right there. He just stayed stayed high. Um, didn't yeah. give him a lot to shoot at. Yeah, he's Stop things high, stop things low, stop things on the ground. Oh, 
Okay, we got less than a minute left, and uh, Concordia is just going to consume the clock. But unless they get an open goal like that, and they just dip and dunk. So Con Concordia able to, to score on the, on the open goal there. Capali had pulled the goalie and able to double the ball. Concordia doing a bit of a celebration on the field. The clock shows 48 seconds. Um, score is 11 to 6. Concordia. And Poe comes up with another, another face off. Shot went wide of an empty net. So Cal Pauly had, had pull, pulled the keeper against in order to double, able to, to force force a, a ground ball at least from uh, from Concordia. That's number nine, Cludia, not, not able to, to get to get in the in the scoring column there. Cal Poly and have, ball. And we have a bad pass out of bounds. We have ten seconds to score five goals. Let's see if we can do it. There's a chance. And there's a the game. Final Concordia eleven. Cal Poly 6, and um, I think that wraps it up for us today. Luis, remember, we gotta, we gotta catch the uh, handshake last time. Should I record this or no? I don't worry about it. Just, just get, get your side. Yeah. Go set. Yeah. Folks, this is uh, Josh Moore. And Sean O'Brien. Coming to you from Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo. Uh, Mustang's not able to pull it out today. Um, we'll, uh, Cal Poly try to regroup. Um, no game next week for the Mustangs. Uh, I believe their next opponent is um, Chapman. Panthers are coming into Cal Poly uh, March 5th is the next game. Are you and uh, Mark announcing that one? Yeah, I think I'm announcing that one. Uh, awesome. All right, folks, signing off.
Capali with possession, trying to test the a pretty good shot on the run there. Defensive set. I think they uh, the scouting report show they, they get into a 2-2 and then they just just do a dodge and then find the open guy. Great skip. And I think they just show. Okay, Concordia picks up the face and they're going to get back on offense. Let's see if Cal Poly can. Uh... Cal Poly looking to uh, get on the board. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's a good tough clear by my number 12, Defoe. Oh, Change your formations. And Cal Poly drops the ball again. And now push it, in push it, push it, push it. Good yeah. save. That was Cal Poly needs to perform a little more off-ball movement and, and get, some, get the defensive oh. team moving. On that 20, uh, didn't burn a yellow barrel eligibility yep. then. Um, there was really no no season last year for many teams. Uh, okay, so that on the pronunciation there, coach. <laughs> yeah, a little more French. He looks like he's from uh, Chamond Prep. Oh, and 56 seconds left on the shot clock after the timeout. He's got 44 with this strong, but. You know, with a defensive player playing hard, you know, you're going to get penalties from time to time. Yeah. Call that a shot either. Apparently they want to run the red play. He shoots right into 26, Johnson. You know, he'll take that. And we're all even. That's good. He drew a double. Nice. Let's see if Cal Poly can capitalize on. There it is. You know, Cal Poly taking that. No, oh, that was a. Okay. There he had. Uh, I think he broke his. Collarbone, or, or it was something like that. And, oh, there it is. Okay. Second, then they'll start. We'll see if Kramer's able to draw the slide. A minute left, and uh, Concordia is just going to consume the clock. Unless they get an open.